The IPA Black Hill Conservation Group, as we now call ourselves, uh, as far as I know, began back in 1989 with such famous people as Jim Warburton and Keith Clush, who used to meet with us here, and others in the ARPA bushwalking group. It seemed to be made up entirely of bushwalkers. Perhaps there's a good reason for that. Um, we started working in the Orchard Trail Gully. I've got a map here which is a blow-up of uh, the southern part of Black Hill Conservation Park. This is, I don't know if you can see it very well, this is Montaquit Road heading off into the hills, Black Hill up here, and uh, the National Parks Office here, um, uh, yeah. Mirivale Road there. Um, our original working here was up this gully here <coughs> along the Orchard Trail. There's a nice little waterfall at the top which is mostly dry, but occasionally one can see water coming over. Quite a scenic area and we, we enjoyed working there for a start. The uh, numbers were pretty good on something like 15 or 20 quite often, uh, I'm just guessing, but of that order. And uh, after it was blackberry up there and fruit trees, um, and uh, so that, that was cleaned up pretty well. And then we, we worked along the creek partly, and then mainly, more recently, we've been working in the quarries, the old quarries area, which is a less satisfactory area from the point of view that there's uh, introduced soil. Uh, which doesn't inspire you and the, sort of the introduced weeds come in, in as well but there's some quite patches, nice patches of bushland through there interspersed with soil so at the moment we, our numbers have dropped down to something like six on average we meet the first Monday of the month and uh, in one or other of these areas just general weeding once a year we do we have our annual planting we have most of the usual weeds uh, in the quarry area, Kikuyu, grass in particular is a nuisance. Apart from support by this group of friends and national parks, we have come under the wing of our patch since uh, we work near Fifth Creek. I think that's the reason for that, obviously. They have provided us with financial grants to allow professional spraying. We do very little spraying ourselves. In fact, we don't use herbicide all that much. We uh, mostly do a bit of um, cutting and uh, swabbing with uh, glyphosate currently. Our latest grant of 3,300 from the Adelaide and Mount Lofty Ranges Natural Resources Management Board has been largely used on last summer's spraying and brush cutting. We, we have, a co have had occasional grants like this and devoted them to, mainly to professional work of that sort. Our current minder from our patch is Kate Hallahan. I don't know if you know, may not have met her, but she has her headquarters at Burnside. Uh, earlier we had Tricia Machen who kept an eye on us. The brains of the show, uh, in my opinion, is, is my co-convener, Kath Deans, who gathers seed and propagates plants. At this month's working we we planted, this is rather unusual to do a planting, we planted 60 Alocasurina on a slope in the eastern end of the quarry, sort of in this, this general area here. We're uh, steering clear of, the, of uh, Fifth Creek because I gather uh, National Parks or uh, perhaps some other body is, is uh, taking care of that, or it should be case. So we're, we're, we're concentrating on the slopes in this general area here and, and in the quarries. July the 3rd, that's uh, next month, will be our main planting day for 2006.